Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll look at the top 10 places to visit in the UK. The United Kingdom is an amalgamation of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The UK is an island nation in the northwestern Europe, and England is the birthplace of many prominent figures like Shakespeare and the Beatles. England is also the site of a Neolithic Stonehenge, Baths, Roman Spa, and centuries-old universities. Britain is a great symbol of diversity and with its multiculturalism, its influence on the world is very diverse and important. The United Kingdom plays a very important role in international diplomacy and has a great cultural influence globally. England is also known for the contributions to the Industrial Revolution and in literature and poetry. Number 1. London London is the perfect blend of cultures, nationalities, and languages and is home to the UK's most iconic landmarks such as Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and Borough Market. This place is the perfect blend of almost everything. You'd be surprised to know that Chinatown here makes some of the best Chinese in the entire UK. Shaftesbury Avenue particularly has the finest Chinese cuisines London has to offer. The Madame Tussauds Museum is a very unique and great place to witness the eccentricity of Great Britain. This museum is the first of its kind and it showcases lifelike wax figures of models, sports stars, actors, and many more. If you like nature like me, then I'm sure you would love the Natural History Museum. Formerly known as the British Museum, the place has over 70 million life and earth science specimens with a collection of mineralogy, entomology, zoology, and paleontology. The place also features contributions made by the preeminent English naturalist and geologist Charles Darwin. The Royal Observatory in Greenwich has significance, has contributed a lot to the history of astronomy and navigation. With its historical significance, the observatory is the main attraction of Greenwich and is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Royal Observatory in Greenwich was established in 1675 during the reign of King Charles II with an intent to rectify the motions of heavens and the places of the fixed stars and to find the desired longitude of places to master the art of navigation. London has a lot to offer. No wonder London is the UK's most important city. Number 2. The Cambridge University Cambridge University comes forth as the oldest surviving university in the world. The university was founded in 1209 and it stands along with the University of Karoine. This massive university is an amalgamation of 31 colleges with more than 18,000 students per year. So the story goes that a group of scholars were involved in a dispute with the local townspeople and this led to them leaving the University of Oxford and that was when the university was established. The Trinity College is an architectural masterpiece with expert details exquisitely carved on the chapel perfectly exhibiting the Baroque style. Number 3. Cornwall The Eden Project Cornwall is a small county located on England's south southwestern tip. It is a peninsula with wild moorland and hundreds of sandy beaches. The county touches the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the most remote counties in England. This location means that Cornwall has some of the most extravagant beaches, making it a surfing haven all around the United Kingdom. Well, Cornwall is the land of kings, giants, wizards, and mythical creatures, and it could be one of your best trips ever as they have everything from the surfing beaches of the north coast to the inlets in the south and from the historical town of Marazione to the popular Newquay Resort. Cornwall has a bit of everything, even the weather is the mildest here during summers. You can even live along the coastlines in the resort towns and fishing villages and visit these ancient towns and mesmerizing attractions. Number 4. Liverpool Maritime Mercantile City This place is the mascot of UK's history throughout the century, which includes the mass movement of migrants to the United States and the immigrants from Northern Europe. It also has a brief segment of historical significance that talks about the slave trade. This makes Liverpool's maritime mercantile city a historic center and you can venture through the Dockland and see how it went by. It also is home to some of the most significant civic buildings, commercial and public buildings like the St. George's Plateau, and the city has come a long way with the recent drive to modernization, but the area also has been bestowed with a privileged and endangered World Heritage Site. The city is furthermore immortalized as it is the location where the famous Netflix series Peaky Blinders was shot. Did you know that 61 years ago the Beatles made their debut at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, England? That was where they hung out most of the time during their early days, and they also have a statue of them walking by the Mercy. Number 5. Malvern Hills and Commons A wide stretch of land about 3,000 acres running through the countries of Worcestershire, Herefordshire and Gloucestershire, the Malvern Hills and Commons is a canvas painted with natural beauty and spectacular scenic views. The ground in this area is made up of metamorphic and igneous rocks and it could be as old as about 680 million years. If you pay a visit, it is suggested to climb the Worcester Beacon and hike about 420 meters high at the summit. 
that is the best vantage point and the view is breathtaking. Number 6, Wiltshire Stonehenge. Wiltshire Stonehenge is considered to be one of the most remarkable sites in the modern world. Stonehenge was designated as a World Heritage Site in 1896 and it has always been a mystery of what purpose these massive stones serve. Several pieces of research conducted have led to the speculation that Stonehenge was used as a burial ground in Neolithic and Bronze Age eras. This prehistoric monument co comprises stones that reach up to 9 meters and weigh up to 25 tons. These stones are thought to have been constructed around 2000 to 3000 BC, but the exact date is still unknown. 7. Cornwall Lizard Peninsula The Lizard Peninsula is located at the southern part of Cornwall. The peninsula was frequently known and called the Graveyard of Ships as the coastal rocks had seen a lot of ships come to a devastating end in the previous centuries. The Lizard Peninsula begins to the Cornwall's area of outstanding natural beauty and is known for its rare botanical specimens and geological formations. The place is blissful with nature and clear turquoise water, and researchers speculate that the place got its unusual name Lizard from the Cornish name Liz Ard, which means the High Court. Number 8. East Devon to Dorset, Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site The Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site gives you a unique perspective and an insight into the planet's geological foundation. The coastline of the English Channel stretches from the east of Devon towards Dorset, covering a distance of 95 miles. This geological marvel is sure to entice you with its grand formation and clear water and a variety of rock formations, and most of them still going through the process. The Jurassic Coast features materials millions of years old to be specific and are about 185 million years through Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous period. Number 9, Gloucestershire, the Cotswolds. Cotswold is a word referring to the type of limestone from the Jurassic period. Cotswold resides in Gloucestershire County and it's a wide range of beautiful hills with small and attractive towns and villages scattered around. These villages are approximately about 90 miles long and 25 miles long. The place served as a very lucrative route for traders during the Middle Ages, especially wool which led these towns and villages to prosper. Cleve Hill standing at a height of 330 meters is the highest point in the area and there's also a large spa town of Cheltenham just north of the cliff. Number 10, Canterbury Cathedral. Canterbury Cathedral might be one of the most popular Christian structures in England. The cathedral was founded in 597 and it was reconstructed in 7 years from 1070 and 1077. It was the home of Archbishop of Canterbury and the principal leader, the Senior Bishop of Church of England, and also the symbolic head of the Global Anglican Communion. In the last renovation made in 1174, the architects added more of a Gothic theme to the place where they housed the pilgrim to worship at the shrine of Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Becket, until the year 1170 when he was murdered. So that was our top 10 list of places to visit in the UK. Thank you so much for watching. If you think we missed anything, then let us know in the comment section below and we'll put them in the next video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.